When you think of Romeo High School, what do you think of? Football? Charity Week? A small community? This beer is about none of those. This beer is about one employee here at RHS that stands out above all others. He's has over 6,000 students, won multiple teaching awards, and is respected by his peers like none other. This man is Erwin Slava, and I sat down to interview him about his days here at RHS. What year did you start at RHS and how many years have you been here? I've been here, this is my 45th year, and I started with the class of 73, I believe, I think. <laughs> and did you have any previous jobs prior to from high school? Yes, I was in Farmington for two years. Okay, after graduation I found a job out in Farmington. But the commute was terrible because there was no 696 back then. So. <laughs> How has the school changed over the years? Oh, our enrollment has really gone up. Um, there, I remember when the Chrysler plants closed down, we lost a lot of students then. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's gone ups and downs. It, it seems to be up right now uh, than what I remember. Uh, we had as low as, I think, 700 students at one time, but we didn't have the ninth graders here either. When I started, it was only 10 through 12. Then the ninth graders were brought in. So um, it's been up and down, pretty much. Now, who was the principal when you first got here to RHS, and how many new principals have there been since? Uh, I came when David Olson was principal. Um, and as far as, I think there have been six or seven. I could be wrong. I, I should know, but my memory is not what it is. Um, but at least six or seven principals since then. Some have lasted longer than others. So. What were you hired in here for our when you first started? <laughs> That's interesting because, <laughs> believe it or not, um, I was hired in as the tennis coach um, and I taught an English class called sports literature. Um, uh, Ray Face was the English teacher who was leaving Romeo and I was hired in to replace uh, Mr. Face. Um, so I, I took over his class as a sports lit. Uh, we read Sports Illustrated all the time, and I was the uh, boys tennis coach. That's what I was, for one year only, <laughs> before they got rid of me. <laughs> Losing season. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How do you feel about pictures of yourself? <laughs> I hate pictures of myself. In fact, if Mrs. Harbison ever allows this thing to be shown, uh, I'll probably blot out my face. I, I just don't. I have one image of what I look like, and it's not what uh, everyone else sees. <laughs> uh, what subjects have you taught? Um, I've taught everything from AP literature. Uh, in fact, there was no AP literature. And so a colleague of mine, Christine Rowley, a fellow English teacher, uh, she and I uh, wrote up the classes for AP literature and AP language. Uh, I've taught technical English. Uh, that's over at the Red Sea. I taught that for several years. Uh, I've taught, um, I, I really like teaching English 12. Uh, this year I have English 12 and 11, uh, but I've taught uh, 10, uh, English 10, 11, 12, uh, and that's, oh, we used to have uh, electives, and um, rather than just English 11 or English 12, and so I taught like novels, I taught um, contemporary literature, I, you know, the various electives we used to have before we went into just 11th and 12th grade English. What would your uh, dream job be? Oh, this is it. <laughs> um, th there's something about uh, being with students. I've Over the years, other people have retired that I started teaching with, and I no offense, I hope they don't come after me, but uh, they get all wrinkly and everything like that. <laughs> I, I don't look my age and I don't feel my age and there's something that students give off. I, I don't know what it is or being with them, I, I just feel younger. Um, and I, you know, I, I, I wouldn't go for anything else. It, it's just, I, I enjoy what I do, I really do. Uh, it, it's, it's a fun job.